Hi guys, my name is Alexandra Reynolds. I am a mother of six and I live in Oklahoma. Say hi. I have a new pattern I wanted to share with you that I've been sewing for my local hospital. Um, it's a duckbill style pattern and it's made out of this fabric the hospitals use when they are sterilizing tools. Um, they usually use it and then it gets thrown away. So it's a great option to use um, for masks. We did do a seal test on it um, at the local hospital and it passed both. We had two different styles. Um, this one's a little thinner, this one's stiffer um, and not quite as breathable, but they both passed the test um, and they both work for these masks. So this fabric has two layers and it is sealed that much on two edges. So when you're cutting out the pattern, um, pattern comes by, from this uh, R95 mask, duckbill style. You take the mask or your pattern piece if you don't have a mask, um, and I will post a link to a pattern piece copied from this. Um, you go ahead and line it up with the edge of where it's sealed. Um, you're not gonna use this part here. And then you can get four crossed if you alternate like that you get four crossed and you will end up getting a total of 16 masks out of that. So you need four layers total. Um, if they're sealed, that's still considered two layers. Um, you're going to take all of your layers that aren't sealed on the long end and you're going to do a stitch about a quarter inch in and then half of them will be your tops and half will be your bottoms. You need to take all of your tops, um, and try not to use ones that have the seal, the seal on this edge because it makes it too far for your nose wire, um, at least the preferred placing. So after you put a quarter inch in, you're going to make a casing for your wire. Hi, helper. You come here. Uh, okay, you're going to make a casing for your wire. It's going to be about six inches wide, measure in equal distance. Um, it's like two and a half ish. Um, and you're gonna sew six inches down there. Your wire, you cut six inches and then you bend over the edges. So, and so it doesn't poke through. This is 16 or 18 gauge copper wire. We found works the best. 20 gauge was a little bit too small. Um, 16, 18 gauge copper wire. After you sew that in, you're going to sew in your casing, you're going to push it in. And as long as you've bent it, it slides right in um, and it should go and you should have just enough room to do a stitch back and forth on each end. So it's not going to go any further. And so it looks like this. And then you're going to take your bottom piece, which does not have a wire, put it with your top piece. And you're going to stitch around these three sides two times. You're leaving your opening here. So both your top and your bottom have been sewed together or they came together um, depending on where you cut it out of the fabric. Next, you're going to cut or you're going to sew about an inch from the edge just straight up and down on both sides. And this is where you attach your straps. There's multiple ways to do straps. Whatever you have on hand, find a way to make it work. So I'm sure you show you three examples. Um, this is quarter inch elastic. I cut a hole on both sides. I thread it through. It's about 20 inches um, and it goes on. So you have the back, the bottom goes on first. And you put the mask on and then the top goes to the top of your head. And you can push the wire down to where you need it. So a quarter inch elastic. This is eighth inch elastic, same way, 20 inches long. Thread it through, tie it in a knot. Um, you can, between 20 and 25, I found to be a good length. If you make it longer and it's too big for whoever's wearing it, they can tie a knot in it and cut it off. So better to go bigger than small. So 20 to 25 inches. Um, those two are elastic. This is t-shirt yarn. I cut it um, an inch and a half 
Oh, I got a straggler. Um, an inch and a half by 20 inches again. I thread it through the holes just like the other ones, tie a knot, um, and put it on separate. If you try and put both on at a time, t-shirt yarn doesn't stretch as much as the elastic. So one at a time, put the back one on and put the front one on after you put the mask on. So Lycra will work. Spandex will work. Um, you can do ties. They won't work quite as well. The elastic helps it stay, keeps the seal nice. Um, if you're doing ties, it's not going to stay sealed. So I highly recommend using something stretchy, t-shirt, elastic, different lengths, um, or Lycra spandex. Make sure when you're cutting it, you're cutting it so that the stretchy part is going lengthwise on your strip and about an inch and a half on all of those should work just fine. Um, depending on the stretch of your spandex or Lycra, you may need to cut them a little bit longer, um, minimum 20 inches. Um, and then up from there. So try one, and if it's too short, then you know you need to come longer. If you have any questions, please let me know. Um, I hope that this mask can help.